Say you will not be harassed. You will not be harassed. Who is harassing you? Who is oppressing you? David said, This Philistine, this uncircumcised Philistine, will be like one of them. Seeing his divide, armies of God. If you are appointed and you find a family who are oppressed by the devil, you will say, Devil, I come with oil. I don't care your size. I care the size of my God. The size of my God is greater than this Goliath. The size of hey, I, I might look shorter, but the oil in me is not shorter. God in me greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Say yes. Say yes again. Say yes at that time. Look for 18 if you compare with that. Look at Nekuminanane. You can be seated. Jesus said. Yes, Wakasema. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Because he has done what? He has anointed me. He has done what? He has anointed me. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me as you are anointed today he is not anointing alone it will be accompanied by the Holy Ghost come and say Holy Ghost the Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the good news Maskini. to preach Kuhubiri. the good news Maskini. gospel to the poor Habari njema. good news to the poor Habari njema to kwa preach the good news to the poor Kuhubiri. Habari njema kwa Maskini. listen anointed people Watu wa mafuta. doesn't discourage people Hawezi kushusha moyo they give you up when you see somebody preaching a message Uchumbe. that is lifting you up it is anointing Ni upako. anointing upako. is to spread good news Ni it is not to speak lies it is not to discourage people Sio kushusha it is not to disappoint someone Sio kushusha it is to encourage Ni to tell the poor man you will be rich to tell somebody crying you will laugh hey! anyone anoint 
shouted. When David arrived there, he did not tell the people the scheme and the plans how to, how to hide, how to run. Mipango ya kukimbia. How to escape. Ya he say no. I have good news. Nikona habari njema. For you Saul. Kwe kwako Sauli. And the Hamis. Na jeshi. This thing. Iki kitu. I will deal with it alone. If you want to know people anointed in the church. Ukitaka kujua watu waliopakwa mafuta kanisani. When they want to do something. Wakitaka kufanya jambo. They don't consult. Hawawezi kuhuuliza mashauri. They just go into their pocket. Wanaenda tu kwenye mifuko yao. Solve the problem. Na kusuluhisha shida. If somebody is anointed here today. Kama mtu amepakwa mafuta hapa. You will see saying. Utamwona akisema. This one raising I don't want. Hii mchango sitaki. I want to give 200,000. Nataka nitoe 200,000. For the project of God. Kwa ajili ya mradi wa Mungu. Because oil is upon his life. Kwa sababu mafuta iko juu ya kichwa chake. After that your life will be different. Baada ya hiyo maisha yako yatakuwa tofauti. You see, you see, unaona the first assignment Jesus did. Jukumu la kwanza ambao Kristo alifanya. I don't know if he was preaching. Sijui kama alikuwa anahubiri. But after the anointing. Lakini baada ya upako. When he came from 40 days fast. Alipotoka kwa siku 40 ya kufunga na kuomba. He read Isaiah 61:1. Alisoma Isaiah 61 mstari msari wa kwanza. Where it says. Maana inasema spirit Roho of the Lord yabwana. is upon me yangu. because he has anointed me Kwa sababu amenitia mafuta to preach kuhubiri to preach kuhubiri good thy things to the poor maskini habari njema he has sent me amenituma to heal the broken hearted kuwatangazia wafungwa huru if you are anointed kama umetiwa mafuta you will not break people hearts hautavunja mioyo ya watu Uta, utaponya mioyo iliyobondeka that is the work of the anointing hiyo ni kazi ya upako kusabi mungu leluhi uweza kuponya mioyo iliyobondeka kulechi tane hiyo beti kabisa kumwambia yule mtu ambaye amepotea kabisa leka gobor wanjo Mungu amenionyesha. Nimemsikia Mungu. Akisema utakuwa mtu mkuu. Haleluya. I'm telling you all this oil will propel your life to another level. I... Tell your neighbor this bishop is seeing at my face. Huyu oh. askofu anatazama uso wangu. But God is seeing my heart. Lakini Mungu anatazama moyo wangu. <laughs> Amen. Amina. I'm seeing your face. Ninaona uso wako. Now, sasa anointing upako when you are anointed. Ukipakwa mafuta. You don't go and tell somebody. So to get nuni. Unaenda uende eh? kumwambia mtu sasa hii ndio duka. To get nuni. Hii ndio duka. Eh? Ila kwa tamel duku chumi tena. Hata nikilamba hii vitu yote yenye iko kwa hii duka nitamaliza. Listen. Skiza. Anointed person. Mtu aliyetiwa mafuta. When he arrive in your small shop. Akifika kwa duka yako ndogo. He told you, he will tell you. Atakwambia. This is not the shop of your size. Hii sio duka ya kiwango chako. Expand yourself. Ukaweze kujipanua. I see a lorry coming with a lot of uh, items. Ninaona lorry ambayo inaleta bidhaa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Where Jesus went. Mahali Yesu alienda. Okay, let us conclude by reading Acts 10:38. Matendo ya mitume 10:38. Oh God anointed Jesus of Nazareth. Lile Mungu alimfuta. Oh doing good. Oh God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit what? With the Holy Spirit. Kwa Roho Mtakatifu. Oh God what? Lile Mungu alimtia mafuta. Oh God what? Anointed. He anointed. Alimtia mafuta. Jesus of where? Yesu wa Nazareth. Nazareth was a poor place. Nasaret ni mahali pa. Nasaret was a miserable place. Ilikuwa mahali duni. I don't care Nasaret where you are in. Jali ile Nasaret ambayo uko ndani yake. Oil will take you from Nasaret to your palace. Mafuta itakutoa kwa Nazaret. I say oil will, will propel you to another level. Itakupeleka katika kiwango kingine. I am talking to some few people here. I say oil Mafuta. will take you from Nasaret to palace. Nasaret kwenda kwenye ikulu. Eh? Yeah? Listen after he was, he was anointed baada ya kutiwa mafuta with the holy spirit kwa roho mtakatifu and with power na kwa nguvu the holy spirit roho mtakatifu and power na nguvu holy spirit roho mtakatifu and power na nguvu he was anointed alitiwa mafuta with the holy spirit kwa roho mtakatifu and with the power na kwa nguvu say power nguvu can you say power 
Nguvu. Say power. Nguvu. Power is authority. Nguvu ni mamlaka. Power is authority. Nguvu ni mamlaka. Who went about doing good? Naye akazunguka huku na huku He was not he was going about doing what? Alizunguka huku na huku akitenda kazi njema. Alizunguka huku na huku na huku akitenda kazi njema. Kama unasunguka huku huku na kukosanisha watu, wewe unjapakwa mafuta, wewe ni wa shetani. Mm. Wapakwa mafuta wasuri. Wanaenda huku na huku na huku wakitenda mema, wakiwacha nguo kwa hii nyumba wenye alikuta watoto wana nguo, akienda huko unasikia tu habari njema. Tambe togo nyo. Wanasema Tambe togo nyo. Tunaomba ruhi tena. Lord, Bwana asifiwe. Sasa sikia. Who went about doing good? If you see somebody who went about doing wrongs is not anointed. Mtu ambaye anazunguka huku huku akitenda mambo yasiyofaa, yatiwa ma. Another name he went to another neighbor. Ngine akaenda kwa jirani mwingine. If he left people suffering. Akaacha watu wakiteseka. From people. Wakibia wengine. The spirit has told me. Roho ameniambia. Give me this cow. Give me this. Huyu ngombe, give me this. Until hii. people become poor. Paka watu wakakuwa maskini. But when there is anointing. Lakini wakati kuna upako. People will give. Watu watatoa. With joy. Na furaha. People will give. Watu watatoa. Generously without fear. Kwa ukarimu bila hofu. And people will live. Na watu wataishi. With hope. Na tumaini. Because they are us. Kwa sababu mioyo yao. Are not broken. Haijavunjika. They are encouraged. Wametiwa moyo. Because of anointing. Kwa sababu ya upako. They will say. Watasema. I'm ready to give all my money. Kwa tayari kupia ni Because they have confidence. Kwa sababu wana ujani. With the oil upon the servant of God. Kwa mafuta iliyo juu ya mtumishi wa mungu. How many of you have, have given me a risk? Wengi wametoa hapo wakihatarisha. Some of you have given many things here. Wengi wametoa vitu vingi. You've given a lot. Umetoa nyingi. Some of you gave. Wengi walitoa. Shaking. Wakitetemeka. But you have confidence. I have confidence there is oil Kuna that mafuta. will give you up here. Una utumaini ya kwamba. The good news is that. Habari njema ni ya kwamba. The good news of anointing. Ile habari njema ya upako. It shall be well with you. Itakuwa vema nawe. You will propel to a new level. Utaenda katika kiwango kipya. You will fly. Kia. That is Utapa. the good. That is the good news. Ndio habari njema. Return the scripture. Rudisha andiko. Who went about doing good and healing? Do what? Akiponya. Jesus did three things. Yesu alitenda mambo matatu. You preach good news. Alihubiri habari njema. He yeah. preach good news. Alihubiri habari njema. He heal the broken hearted. Ali, ali, aliponya wenye waliopondeka mioyo. And healing all who were oppressed of the devil. Na kuponya wote walionewa na ibilisi. For God was with him. Kwa maana Mungu alikuwa pamoja naye. Make sure that when you are anointed God is with you. Hakikisha wakati umetiwa mafuta Mungu yu pamoja nawe. And for God to be with you always is by prayer. Make sure you kneel down every day to pray. Na ili Mungu awe pamoja nawe hakikisha umepiga magoti na kuomba so kila siku. So that oil will function properly. Ili kwamba mafuta ifanye kazi vizuri. Healing all who are oppressed by the devil. Akiwaponya walionewa na ibilisi. The work of the devil. Kazi ya shetani will be broken. Itavunjika. Because of the anointing. Kwa sababu ya upako. In Jesus name. Kwa jina la Yesu. If Satan kama shetani has been oppressing somewhere in your life. Amekuwa akikuonea mahali kwa maisha yako. As you pray today. Tunapoomba in the name of Jesus of Nazareth. To the mighty name of Jesus. But the best part of your body shall be free. I say shall be free. I want to say this as I conclude from today anywhere you enter Popote as long you have oil when people will see the problem that is destroying them you will see the chance in Jesus name where there is challenge in this society because of the anointing you will see an opportunity David did not see Goliath he will see an opportunity to make a name in Israel may this oil today give you them in Jesus name May this oil today give them your company. May this oil today 
You can have your business. May this oil today. You can have your ministry. May this oil today bring restoration in your marriage. May this oil today. Stand on your feet, everyone. Shakara Bakanda. Shakara Bakuria Marabaha Sai. Shakara Baba Sai. Shakara Baba Sai. Shakara Baba Sai. This oil. Iba Futa. Can heal the broken heart. It can be somebody oppressed of the devil. That's why when you are sick, oil is required. So as I pray today, when you are sick, you are getting healed because Jesus was appointed for that purpose to heal the sick, to heal the broken hearted, to heal the Satan oppressed people through what? Through poverty, through sicknesses, through rejection. Three things. As I pour oil today, this oil will address those things. You will get your healing. You will be restored financially. And you will be accepted. Because rejection will be nullified. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I am praying that the Lord will make somebody for that anointing. I will not I will not just I will not just go to anybody. But I will pray. Ask the Lord. Prepare in me. Prepare me, Lord. Prepare me for your mighty visitation. Create in me a clean heart of God. In the name of Jesus. For the Bible says, Blaze are the pure in earth. For they shall see God. Father, give me clean eyes. Create in me a clean eyes. Create in me a clean eyes. Help me to deserve. Help me to deserve. Make me worthy. Make me worthy, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. If you are standing and you are praying as you lift up your hands. May God locate you. May God locate you. I have little oil here. And I don't know whom God has your mouth. For this, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I don't know whom God has your mouth. For this oil. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.